It's been described as a powerful enabler and now artificial intelligence is driving impressive productivity gains in the tech industry. Many in business and government are looking for trusted experts to help them implement AI. Datacom is a company of well over 5,000 people headquartered in this part of the world and privately owned. Shareholders, board and management are accessible to the commercial organisations and the government organisations that we do business with. We work as an outsourcer running IT operations for large organisations. We provide network cybersecurity, cloud and data centre services to a wide variety of customers across many different sectors. When you look across the tech landscape of providers in Australia, the special part of us is being able to match customer problem to the wide variety of things we can do to solve it. The Datacom CEO still recalls the moment AI rocked him back in his seat. It was sitting down and watching this group of team leads and developer agents write six months worth of code in minutes in front of my eyes. And it was all automated agents doing the work, not people that was eye-opening and game-changing from my perspective. But research conducted by Datacom suggests some organisations are not adopting and implementing AI as quickly as they could be. Although 91% of organisations are encouraging their employees to use AI, actually only about 50% of, of employees are actually using AI regularly. Only 33% of them have received any education or training in terms of how to use that AI in their day-to-day -day jobs. Employers are all incredibly keen to get the productivity benefits that AI can bring, but they are not yet fully investing in terms of enabling technology, the provision of the technology and the provision of the upskilling and the education required for employees to actually be able to use it effectively. Generative AI is being used to streamline service delivery. AI and automation can give employees time to focus on higher value, more meaningful tasks. AI is enabling more personalised service that is tailored and responsive to specific customer needs. And we've already seen the impact that can have for the organisations we are working with and for the customers and communities they're serving. We've developed a voice to insight model for a global insurer, and that works by analysing customer conversations to reveal the important insights. Insights about sentiment, moments of friction, and customer behaviours and, and patterns and allowing them to put the right support process in place at the right time in the customer journey. Datacom is developing AI tools for customers across a broad range of sectors, from government to transport, aged care to finance, and recently for the arts and entertainment industry. An unexpected usage of AI was for Melbourne Comedy Festival we designed something called the Funny Finder. And the Funny Finder is basically an AI comedy concierge. It helps you to plan what shows you're going to go to based on you just using natural language. So you can say, I like this kind of comedy, my partner likes this kind of comedy, help me plan a date night. But as automation accelerates, how can organisations stay human-centric, using AI to augment rather than replace their people? I think it's really important to put people at the centre when it comes to AI and to do that it's really all about co-design. So I think the key for that is actually giving people a sense of agency in the role that AI is going to play in their workflow. Datacom advises its customers to think about AI as an extension of a team and its capabilities and to focus on getting the use case right. Within its own business, Datacom is using AI agents to write code alongside the company's own software engineers to transform the speed and scale of software modernisation projects. We pretty much have a hybrid workforce of both humans and AI working together to modernise applications. When customers see our AI app modernisation process, honestly, their jaws drop. We're now able to do something that might have taken years or months in just weeks. AI's potential is no longer theoretical, but unlocking its future productivity depends on Australian businesses and government embracing it and building capability to deliver real economic impact. <laughs>